lovelies! I'm sitting here in London with Dodie! Hi, hi. This is so exciting. I'm sorry to give you a hug. I'm so lovely. happy to be here yeah, and to film with you. I absolutely love your videos. And finally, I get to hang out with you. This is so, that's great. Today, we thought we'd speak about rejection, which is something that, unfortunately, most of us have to go through usually more than once in our life. It can be anything from being rejected in a relationship to being rejected from school and college and as Dodie was saying earlier, it's like a school play and things like that, which has definitely happened to me. <laughs> it's never fun and sometimes it can also be quite painful. So we're going to chat about the rejection that we've gone through and how we've managed to survive it so that hopefully you can manage to survive these things too. Over to you, Dodie. <laughs> oh gosh, um, the first thing that came to my head when you mentioned like being rejected in terms of love and stuff would be from girls. The majority of my friendship group in school was just straight. It's kind of difficult being rejected like before you even started you just got to learn to deal with it like straight away there's mm -hmm. not even any kind of chance of hope which is that sad. can be really difficult because you can't even start a relationship and have them tell you that it's not right you kind of get the wall in the beginning and that's like constantly there you know i just kind of had to deal with that and how did you deal with it though oh man <laughs> just have to, I don't yeah. know. This was like a while ago, this was before I was even like out as someone who mm. likes girls in that way. Um, so I just kind of like bat it off, pretend it wasn't happening, um, look to the opposite but just kind of pretend to myself that it wasn't even happening. And do you think if you could go back now you would have done something differently? Um, it's an interesting question. <laughs> Honestly no, because there wasn't really that much knowledge of it in my school, mm -hmm. like especially of like bisexuality, everyone would just assume that I was a lesbian and it would be such a bad thing because that's the kind of like stigma that it had in my kind of school. Because it's kind of made you who you are now. Yeah. I've had two major rejections that I always think of when it comes to being rejected by men. <laughs> the first was when I was in high school, I went out with somebody for four whole months and that was a really long time then and he was a couple years older than me and I was overseas at the time and he sent me an email and said that it wasn't going to work anymore and I thought that we were going to be together forever and it was a really really hard thing uh, to go through and to come back home and to hope that maybe he changed his mind when he saw me and he didn't. One of the things that I remember doing that really helped me and it's very very specific and weird <laughs> was going on a run. Before I went up the steep hill, I would stand there and I'd say, cool, if I can get up this hill really fast, then surely I can get over this guy. Oh. And I would just run, 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 oh. run, run. And while I was running, I was like, yes, I can do it. Look what I'm capable of. And then the other one was in university where I just plummeted into a very serious affair with somebody who was actually cheating on his girlfriend with me. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Did you know? I had no idea. He knocked on my door one evening and then I did not see it coming whatsoever. Yeah. And I just, the way I dealt with that was just crying. There's nothing wrong with yeah. that. I think that yeah. was really healthy. Like you it was, it was insane. It was just going through that cathartic process that really helped. Now I just look at it as a crazy experience yeah. and I feel better for it. Did you talk about it with everyone? Well, I had a really close friend at university who I spoke to. This is one of the cures to rejection and that is surrounding yourself with friends and family, people who care about you to make you feel secure again. Being rejected from a school play, what's that story? It was my dream role yeah. and I was so close and I just remember hearing it and like you were saying, I just burst into tears. Mm. I just cried and cried and cried. You sometimes prepare for it but you almost have that hope that you cling on to mm. so long. And then when it's gone, you're like, oh my um, gosh, here we go. And like, I get angry as well. Mm -hmm. That was the thing. I just got angry at no one. Mm -hmm. Like, I got angry at the person who chose. I got angry at her for getting it. I just got angry and sad and it was all just a mess. You weren't that person in the play, but surely other things came from that. Yeah, I think I like entered another show. But yeah. I didn't get that. And then I got a really cool role and made like even more friends. Well, there so, we go. I auditioned to go to a really good drama school in Cape Town. And my drama teacher and all my friends and even myself believed that I was going to get in because I thought I was good enough and I practiced enough and we drove all the way there for the audition and I didn't even get a call back and that was like, what? I'd already planned everything. I planned my, my life. Yeah, <laughs> I've done that as well. You start getting so excited yeah. and like, oh, I can do this, I can yeah. do that. Mm. Oh no, that's so funny. I know. I had to go to Stellenbosch University and that was not bad at all. I had the best time. I learned a new language. Oh, wow. What? Because it was half Afrikaans. Oh my God. So I was, and even though that was really hard, I'm so glad I went through that because I got to see a whole new culture and I got to like, practice language. And 
I love the town that I was in, whereas Cape Town was this big city and it maybe wouldn't have worked for me straight after school. And I'm super happy that that happened because I have no idea where I'd be now if I didn't get rejected from them. <laughs> so thanks, thanks UCC, you're the greatest. Friends. Friends. The main one would be when I was in like secondary school or high school mm -hmm. and there was that kind of like weird popularity hierarchy mm -hmm. and I would see like the kind of like popular groups above me get invited to loads of parties and I'd feel like I was missing out on this part of my life because everyone was getting drunk and dancing yeah. and kissing boys and all that jazz and I was like oh I mean my teenager is leaving me and I haven't done any of that because I haven't been invited and it was so sad. Oh, did you ever crash the parties or anything? No. 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 Did you make your own parties at home? Um, I think so, yeah, that's like what made me feel better because mm. I realised that I didn't have to be in that hierarchy, at that level of like popularity, I mm. could just stay with my friends and do my own party, yeah. and that was way better. <laughs> exactly. When I was about 12 or 13, I had a really close best friend who started becoming friends with the more popular girls, you know, and they took her under their wing and they decided they wanted to get rid of me because I was obviously clinging on to my friend who was now friends with them. And yeah, I just remember being rejected and, and I actually decided to leave the school. Ha ha ha. Oh my god! I'm so, this is this I'm a sucker for schools. Like I just left when people weren't my friend. How <laughs> Don't do you do that? Just leave, just walk out. <laughs> yeah, this is silly. That was a silly thing that happened. But um, if I if I were there again now, I don't think I would have left. Uh, but then again leaving was great because I obviously met new people. Place to resolve it all, it was great to actually just sit down and have a coffee with this friend and tell her what she did to me and why I left and made her realise, wow, I made someone leave the school because of this. Wow. <laughs> Which could have been really hardcore for somebody at the age of 12 to realise that they'd done that. I'm amazed that you did that. That's the kind yeah. of thing that you'd see in like an agony art club, like someone's like, <laughs> just sit them down, have a coffee and explain and I'd be like, that would not work and then you actually did it. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So. We're all like good friends again now, but it's horrible. But when you feel like you're being excluded and ousted from a group, and you're you're alone, and you kind of feel like you don't know what to do with yourself, like nobody's my friend, you know. And you yeah. want to like you feel like you're gonna you need to hold on to something. You need your crutch. You don't have one, um, and that's really hard sometimes in school. And that's what happens when kids are bullied and they're rejected. And I know the feeling, and it sucks but you are going to grow up and you're going to have a wonderful life ahead of you. You're just going to get through these bumps and take it day by day. Now we've both been rejected in a number of different ways and I'm sure we're going to have more in our life, unfortunately. Yeah. But we have been super lucky so far not to have been rejected in a serious way like some do on a regular basis. For instance, being rejected from somewhere because of the colour of your skin or because of your gender and things like that. So what I just want to bring back home in this video is that these things are happening all around the world and if we see it and we can help it, then we should. And um, if we have the decision to either reject someone or, or let them in, then let them in. <laughs> it's always the better decision. Mm. And I hope that if you're going through rejection right now, that you feel a little bit better about your situation to know that a lot of us have all gone through rejection too and that we've come out the other side stronger. Yay, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I filmed a video over on Dodie's channel and that will be in the link in the description. We had lots of fun pulling things out of hats. You'll see when you watch it. <laughs> and if you've ever been rejected or you have stories of other people being rejected, tell us in a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And we'll be commenting and replying and we'll see you very soon. Lots of love, bye. Hey, lovelies. I recently filmed a video with one of my early inspirations, Laura Bubble, and we did a sketch video where we compared school to university and we were honestly just mucking about, so please don't take any of our stereotypes too seriously. So without further ado, this is us having a really fun afternoon together.